Welcome to City Year Chicago. My name is Rachel Halpin. And I'm Kyle Mahoney, and we're both proud core members serving with City Year Chicago. You're watching a live call-in interactive program brought to you by Can TV Channel 21. During the next 25 minutes, we invite you to call in with any questions that you might have for us or our guests. The number is on your screen. It's 312-738-1060. And for those of you who may be watching for the first time, City Year is a nonprofit organization that unites young people of all backgrounds um, in a year of full time service. Uh, we give them skills and leadership opportunities uh, to make a big difference um, in the communities of Chicago. And City Year's goal is that one day the most commonly asked question of a young person will be where are you going to do your service here? Here in Chicago, core members ages 17 to 24, like Kyle and myself, serve as literacy tutors and role models to students in Chicago public schools. We also engage community members in projects across the city such as mural painting and fence building and we try to transform neighborhoods just across the city. During their 10 months of service, core members will perform over 1700 hours of service and also mm -hmm. earn an education award of nearly $5,000. For more information about City Year, the service we provide Chicago, and information on how to get involved, please visit us on the web at www.cityyear.org slash Chicago. There are a lot of different ways to get involved, whether you're interested in serving with us for a day or joining the Corps for a whole year, all the information you need can be found at our website. Again, my name is Rachel Halpin, and Kyle has taken over the phones. We encourage you to call in. The number again is 312-738-1060. Joining us now is John Schmidt from the Office of Social Sciences and Service Learning at Chicago Public Schools. John, thank you for joining us. Rachel, thank you for having me. Sure. How long have you worked with CPS? I've been working with Chicago Public Schools for the past eight years, since 2002, but actually with schools throughout the city, probably for about 20 years now. Okay, wow. And so, <laughs> before coming specifically to CPS, what were you doing? I was the uh, director of a youth leader leadership development organization called Bold Chicago, um, developing leadership skills among middle school and high school students um, so that that would prepare them for active civic engagement in their communities. Okay, great. Remember, our phone lines are open. If you have a question for John about service learning or his enrollment and involvement with City Year, please give us a call at 312-738-1060. John, for our viewers who may not be very familiar, can you tell us what service learning is? Service learning is actually, is actually a teaching strategy. Um, it's, it involves students in learning about a particular issue um, from their classroom and then taking that learning and using it for, for the purposes of the common good in their community. So for example, they might learn about um, biodiversity and the environment in a biology class or an environmental science class, and then take that learning out into their neighborhoods and might do stewardship at a wetland area, um, a river bank, a park district, a forest preserve, something like that. Okay, great. So taking what they learn in the classroom and then actually implementing exactly. it out, yep. in the, out in the field. Great. And why does CPS have a service requirement for graduation? Well, the, the foundation of public education in this country is about developing citizens. Mm -hmm. And we think there's no better way to develop citizens than to give them opportunities to be active in their communities. So learning about their communities, um, contributing to their communities, we think gives them a strong foundation for being lifelong active um, citizens that really promote the common good in this country. Okay, great. So clearly service learning really helps students succeed in the classroom and then hopefully beyond the classroom. How does this benefit the teachers or does it benefit the teachers? I think one of the things that teachers say quite often is that service learning projects help build strong relationships within the classroom. Okay. It changes the dynamic in the classroom from the teacher standing at the front of the room and addressing students. And now with service learning projects, teachers get out into the community with their students. Mm -hmm. Everybody's rolling up their sleeves, working together, and it creates a new opportunity for for a different kind of relationship that's maybe more personal than they would normally get um, in a kind of structured classroom environment. That's but I think also it helps um, it helps teachers help students make the connections. Mm -hmm. The connections between what they're reading in a textbook or what they've seen in a video and how that plays out in real life. Okay, great. I know I would have loved to see some of my old high school teachers getting out there and doing the work with us. Um, as, as we know at City Year, and as you probably know, service can take many forms. And so what are some ways that service learning works at each different school? 
It's it's interesting because every every school and ours is a service learning requirement primarily for high school okay. um, high schools, and so every school has its own strategy, mm -hmm. and every teacher has his or her own way to implement the service learning project. Okay. So we have, for example, a number of schools that where where students are doing carbon audits mm. of their schools, and okay. then they're figuring out ways to to figure out ways to reduce the carbon footprint at that school. Okay. That might be one way, wow. right? Or another teacher who might be teaching Romeo and Juliet in the classroom mm -hmm. um, takes the students then to a senior citizen home where they interview the seniors about their stories of first love. Okay. Right? Yeah. So it helps to really personalize um, what they're what they're learning in the classroom. Okay, and lots of different ways, yep. ways to do that. Great. Yep. Now, I heard that for the month of March, service is kind of related to or around Cesar Chavez. And do you know what different things students are doing to celebrate Cesar Chavez? Yeah, so we're, we're right in the middle of it. We've, we've put together 85 different service projects over the month of, awesome. of March. Okay. And, we, and we choose March because that's the birthday of, um, of Cesar Chavez, okay. March 31st. And so he was concerned about things like the environment, about workers' rights, mm -hmm. about immigrants, mm -hmm. about food and food safety. And so um, all of those projects um, are what kids are doing. Right? They go to the food depository, um, they're demonstrating um, against coal-fired power plants in the city okay. that pollute the air and contribute to uh, asthma. Wow. Um, they're helping to redevelop and redesign local parks in some areas. They're going out into um, natural areas and helping to preserve the natural environment. And one, I think one of the most popular ones is where students go and help um, recent immigrants prepare for their citizenship exams. Oh my gosh. So they get a really interesting opportunity to share their knowledge and skills and help immigrants develop English skills mm -hmm. and prepare for the citizenship exam. Wow, lots of cool projects for the month of March. We think so, yeah. Very cool. So now let's shift a little bit. Global Youth Service Day yes. is one of the largest international service days engaging over a million people from a hundred different countries. And I know that, like City Year, CPS is one of the lead agencies for Global Youth Service Day. Right. Um, what are you planning to do on Global Youth Service Day? Saturday, April 24th is the day. Yes. And we hope to have, um, we think we will have, um, at least one group of students, 25 to 30 students at least, from every high school. So that okay. translates into about two to 3,000 young people out doing service in the oh. community. So we've given each school options. They say, we can, you can participate in a project that we'll set up for you. Mm -hmm. Or um, you may have an ongoing project that you want to continue to do on that Saturday. Okay. Or this is where City Year comes in. Um, we will City Year will dispatch a team of young core members mm -hmm. to help your students develop a project in their own local community, which we're right. very excited about. Yes. We bring everybody together at the end of the day. Then after the day of service, mm -hmm. and um, we gather at the McCormick Place where we're having a civic action rally. Oh wow. Where some of the city's primary political and and uh, and uh, other leaders. We'll address the students with very, very interactive ways to continue to motivate and inspire young people to be about service in their neighborhoods. Okay, that sounds like a wonderful day. I remember from last year, it was a very powerful day of service, just overall seeing so many young people coming yeah. out. Sends a powerful message, I think, to the city and the community that young people are really interested in, in what their communities look like, and they're taking an active role in, in shaping those communities. Definitely. So obviously, this is a big day. It takes a lot of planning. Do you know who's on this planning committee on Global Youth Service Day? Well, City Year and Chicago Public Schools are the primary partners yes. here. Um, we also have a number of environmental organizations like Friends of the Parks and the Forest Preserve District of Cook County okay. and the Alliance of Great Lakes. We have some civic organizations, um, McFa Challenge and... Um, Mm, what am I thinking about? Chicago Cares and the MGR Foundation. Okay, so great. really a nice group of, of 10 to 12 organizations that have deep experience in, in service and working with young people. And so with that group, we think we'll put together a pretty special day. I have no doubt that you guys will. Why, why do you guys like partnering with City Year? Oh, because you bring, you're, you're young, you're enthusiastic, <laughs> and you bring a, a vibrant energy uh, mm -hmm. to our work. Um, Good we we, th we, <laughs> <laughs> we think also that that in some small way maybe we contribute to your mission as a, as an organization yeah. as we, we we feel like you know we're not finishing the job certainly right but we're preparing young people to begin to think about mm -hmm. you know you can be a doctor and a lawyer but there are lots of other things you can do and one of them is you can be of service to your community throughout your entire life definitely and um, so we love the energy that that city year brings and the experience you guys have been at it for. 15, 20 years? 20 years. 21 that. years, yeah. yeah. Um, so in connection with City Year and, and service learning, do you think that City Year can help 
service learning in in Chicago public schools and help with it in some way? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I th I think we we've we've known about each other for over the years. Mm -hmm. um, in the early years of City Year, actually, you your core members were in high schools working with students on service learning projects. I don't know if you know that history or not. We probably were right? at some point, right? not when I was here though. And then you made a <laughs> shift to the elementary right. um, elementary side. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think the commitment that that, that you bring mm -hmm. um, and your ideals and notions of service, I think, are for the for the foreseeable future, of, I think it'll be really important to our work. Okay. So you've been in education for a while. You've seen how it has changed and everything. What would education look like, or what should education look like for students in 2025? Yeah, boy. <laughs> that seems far away, but, you know, it'll probably it's be here before up on we know us, it. isn't it? Yeah. Um, I, what I would like, I guess what I was, I, was, I was joking with some with some of my colleagues before I came over here mm -hmm. about, about, you know, what's education going to look like in the future? And the, you know, the cynical answer is, well, maybe the same as it did 40 years ago. Of course, we hope that's not the case. Right. Um, we do hope, and I do hope, that, that learning continues to be a very relational, mm -hmm. right, very mm -hmm. personal. It connects into kids and their, their cultures mm -hmm. and their experiences. But it provides opportunities for young people to really get engaged and so that education continues to answer or, or either begins or continues to answer the question, why am I learning this? Okay. Um, and so that means being involved in communities actively, um, working on projects together, um, working as teams mm -hmm. together, mm -hmm. definitely utilizing technology in, 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 in useful ways. Yes, definitely. Well, thank you. And it does look like we have one caller real quick. Go ahead. Hello. You're on the air. All right. All right. How y'all doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. Okay. Um, basically, and I love it here, by the way, um, I was just coughing to basically like, I'm trying to figure out what kind of organization. You know, like what kind of organization is this? I'm really not sure. I'm really, you know, haven't heard of it any, you know, before. And I want to know what kind of um, programs you guys got coming up. And how can people volunteer? You know, to sign up to be a part of what we got going on. Sure, definitely. Um, City Year is a, a nonprofit organization, and. It is uh, also related with AmeriCorps, so you sign up to do 10 months of service if you'd like to volunteer with us for a whole year. Um, we work in Chicago Public Schools, working with uh, a range of students, ranging from first grade, actually all the way up to ninth grade. And you also, if you don't want to join with us for a full year, you can come out and serve with us on our individual service days. A perfect one would be probably Global Youth Service Day, mm -hmm. which is going to be uh, April 24th. And we will be posting here in a few minutes some more information about Global Youth Service Day. You can also always go to our website and uh, check out different things that are coming up, uh, cityyear.org. And you can search for Chicago. Um, we are also a nationwide organization, so you can go to several different cities to, to work with us. So, John, we are almost out of time. And before we leave, I, or before you leave, I'm not going anywhere, <laughs> um, I would like to give you the boot. Uh -oh. As you know, <clears throat> the City Year Corps members wear Timberland work boots while they serve. And this boot is filled with questions. So I would like you to pick a question out of the boot. And then you yeah. answer it? Oh, no, you answer oh, it. Oh, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. And then I'll get the marker and you can sign the boot. What is the question? Oh, would you rather be stuck in traffic or... At a standstill on the L. Ooh. And I would have to say I'd rather be stuck. I'd rather be on my bicycle for one. Okay. Okay. But I'd rather be stuck on an L. All right. Because then I can read and I don't get right. too terribly frustrated about sitting in traffic. Exactly. Good. <laughs> Good answer. If you want to go ahead and All sign right. for us. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us this evening and sharing with us about service learning and Chicago public schools. Thank you so much for having me. I enjoyed it. Sure. Thank you. Now, after a short break, we will continue with City Year, Give a Year, Change the World. I am change. And I got your back. When school is hard, when life is hard, when talking about it is really hard. Because I am change. I'm here. And I'm not going anywhere. Welcome back. My name is Rachel, and we are with City Year Chicago. The phone lines are open. Joining me now is Addie Magic Doomy, a senior core member serving at Spencer Technology Academy. Addie, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, Addie, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about yourself, who you are, where you're from? Um, so, 
Uh, I am originally from Lagos, Nigeria. Was born there, 87. Came to New York City in 1993. And uh, yeah, that's, that's me in a nutshell. That's your story, all right. So what were you doing before you joined City Year? Um, this past May, oh, I guess we're in 2007 now, so May 2009, I graduated from Cornell University, um, studied, got a bachelor's in science uh, in human biology, health and society. Okay. And what has inspired your passion for service? Uh, very good question. Um, <laughs> so during my four years at Cornell, um, I'd always volunteered. Uh, I don't know. I gave a lot of myself to the community and to Cornell's and isolated and desolate Ithaca neighborhood uh, area and far too often you just see not enough service and so I just try to give myself or give of myself as much as possible and so for four years running um, I volunteered every opportunity I had Great. and then after I graduated I was just like what am I going to do now I had schools and offers but I had this exuberance and this passion <laughs> to keep on serving so I found City Air or City Air found me. Oh okay well so Explain something to me. You grew up primarily mm -hmm. in New York. Mm -hmm. You went to college in New York. Mm -hmm. There is City Year New York. <laughs> Yet you came to City Year Chicago. Mm -hmm. Why? Um, very good question again. <laughs> uh, I think, so during the application process, there is a section for two, two main reasons. Okay. There's a section that talks about the size of the core. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, New York's core is tremendous. Huge like 300 people yeah minimum <laughs> and so chicago had that nice humble small grassroots feeling that i was looking for and so i decided to come to chicago and okay. then also i am from new york um and i figured why not take a step out take yeah. a leap of faith and Good. come to chicago why not jordan <laughs> awesome well I was, i'm glad you decided to come to chicago Thank you. it I'm looks like we here. do have a caller so we'll go ahead and take the call hello carl you're on the air Yo, yo. Hi. Hey. I'm back. How's it going? All right. Well, check it out. Um, what I wanted to know is what what are the qualifications that a person has to have to be a part of your organization? You know, because I got a real community. I'm on the south side of the wild hunt. It's, it's wild, wild out there. We got a lot of things going on. And I like to have some kind of organization to come out and, 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 and you know, talk to the neighborhood and, and, you know, give these kids something really to look forward to instead of the old same old saying and don't nothing get done. Okay, well, thank you. That's a, a very good question. Um, two, two different parts, I would say, to answer that question. Uh, qualifications to come and serve with City Year as a core member. Uh, as Kyle and I mentioned at the beginning in the show, it's for young people ages 17 to 24 of all backgrounds. The only real requirement is that you have graduated from high school. Um, there is an application and a screening process, but that is the only... The big thing, I guess, is that you have to have graduated from high school. To come and serve with us on a normal day, you you just have to find out where we're going to be and uh, what we're going to be doing. There is registration, and you can find all of that information online. Um, also, if you are interested in, in partnering with City Year, I guess you would say, or I would say, same thing. You can contact our, our office downtown, either through our website um, or give them a call, and our... CE or civic engagement manager whose name is Jacob Pachter would probably be more than happy to speak with you about ways that organizations can can partner yeah. um, I would just add to that city has a great open door policy mm -hmm. where we're located at 36 South Wabash um, feel free to come in set yeah, an appointment definitely. up call set an appointment and we're more than welcoming to answer so Jacob's a great guy so yeah. And everyone, we're always there, working, I feel like, 24 <laughs> hours a day, seven days a week. So Somebody's someone will be now. at that office. <laughs> yes. um, so moving forward, Addie, what is your role here at City Year Chicago? Um, so this year, uh, City Year is running two pilot programs. Okay. And I was fortunate enough to be selected to be the senior core member mm -hmm. at one of those pilot schools. And essentially what we do is we've shifted our model from the traditional third through fifth grade service mm -hmm. to working with sixth through eighth graders. And as you said, uh, I work at Spencer Technology Academy. So this year... Where I worked last year. You did. They, they do miss <laughs> you over there. Um, so this year we're serving um, literacy tutoring and behavior coaching, attendance monitoring, just things to prepare the middle schooler for a better high school experience and eventually a better college experience. Great. So, that sounds wonderful. It sounds like we do have another caller also. Hello, caller. You're on the air. 
Hi, um, I was just calling to find out um, if you're going to be turning 25 during your year of service, but you're 24 when you actually apply, is that still allowed? Huh? Great question, and actually I am a perfect example of that because <laughs> I turned 25 at the end of this month, and I am still here. So yes, as long as you are 24 uh, at the beginning of your term of service, you can definitely, okay, definitely. apply and, and do a term of service with us, and that's a wonderful question. We're going to go ahead and take one more caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, what's your question? Hello. Hi. Welcome to City of Chicago. What's your question? Ah! All right, she was really excited. <laughs> All right. So, back to your service and mm -hmm. your role with City Year. This is your first year with City Year. It is. Unlike some of the other senior core members. So what was it like to kind of be thrown into a, more of a leadership position in an organization organization that you were new to? New to. Um, complex, I think, is a good word to describe it. Just because I knew I'd have to bear the brunt of people's questions and mm -hmm. many questions that I had myself right. leading a team. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, City is great preparation for life. And I feel we did do a good job of preparing and easing that transition. So it wasn't too difficult. I actually found it interesting and I enjoy it till this day. And my team is the team, the kids, the service, but most importantly, the team is what I look forward to every day. Just working with eight diverse individuals and it's not so much a leadership skill, but just building relationships and building bonds that'll last a lifetime. That's definitely a good skill to have. Mm -hmm. So what has been the biggest way, and I guess you could answer this in two parts, mm -hmm. that your students have grown? And also you said you mentioned your team and your core members that you lead. So have you seen them grow as well, mm -hmm. which I'm sure you have? So, okay, so I'll start with students. Um, most definitely attendance that's one of our initiatives mm -hmm. and city Year's whole model for this year is whole school whole child meaning that we're focused on getting children in school mm -hmm. and if you're in school you can learn you can gather materials you can gather life skills and so that's kids who were struggling to come to school and who had no real benefit mm -hmm. or no real insight just decided to come through us um and our team uh just each day just different skills, personal skills, uh, dealing with kids, behavior management with mm -hmm. themselves and the children. I've definitely seen some growth there because it can be a struggle, but a fun one at that. Definitely. All right, well, we are coming to an end of this segment. And so as you saw with John, mm. we have to give you the boot. Oh, yeah. But before that, please pick a question from the boot and answer it. I shall. So. Go ahead and read it. Would you rather have a Chicago-style hot dog or a Chicago-style pizza? Oh. <sighs> Being from New York, this is kind of tough. <laughs> <laughs> kind of partial to my hot dogs in New York. Um, so I'll take the pizza. Okay. Yeah. All right, fair enough. If you want to go ahead and sign it. Thank and you. thank you so much for coming and sharing your City Year experience with oh, us this definitely. evening. Thank you for having me. Well, Addie signs the boot. And before we leave you this evening, we would like to go to a segment that we call our so service spotlight, where we highlight a part of our service. And... We serve Chicago in many different ways, each of which is an important part of City Year. Today, the service spotlight shines on Global Youth Service Day. GYSD is an annual campaign that celebrates and mobilizes the millions of children and youth who improve their communities each day of the year through service and service learning. Established in 1988, GYSD is the largest service event in the world and is now celebrated in over 100 countries. On GYSD, children and youth address the world's most critical issues in partnership with families, schools, community and faith-based organizations, businesses, and governments. If you care to join in, please email Irene Gaglos at igaglos10 at cityyear.org for more information. So like I said before, we are quickly running out of time. Thank you for tuning in to City Year, Give a Year, Change the World. And make sure you tune in next week at 6.30 on Channel 21. And call in with any questions you might have when we are joined with another guest and another core member who serve with City Year Chicago. Also, if you're interested in learning more about how you can give a year and change the world with City Year Chicago, please visit www.cityyear.org slash join us or call our recruitment manager at 312-423-7179.
Thanks. Good job, Eddie. Hey.